pulmonary vasculature, there are two arterial circulations to the lungs. There's the pulmonary arteries and veins, which arise from the right ventricle and then drain into the left atrium. Those are involved in gas exchange and it's a low pressure system. The normal pressure of a pulmonary artery is about 20, 25 millimeters of mercury maximum, whereas for most people, the systemic circulation is 100, 110 millimeters of mercury. Then there's the bronchial artery circulation. That's a systemic circulation arises from the normal left-sided cardiac uh, circulation and provides oxygenated blood to the lung tissue. And because it comes from the left, left ventricle circulation, it's a high-pressure system. So to describe the pulmonary arteries in a bit more detail, the low-pressure system that arises from the right ventricle, the pulmonary trunk comes out from the right ventricle, that divides into a right and into a left pulmonary artery, and that those enter into the lung at the hyla. Those arteries then divide, and basically they follow the bronchi. So every time the bronchus divides, the pulmonary artery divides. So you get an accompanying bronchial artery with each bronchus during the further subdivisions out further into the lungs. And that supplies blood eventually to the pulmonary capillary bed, capillary bed around the alveoli. So this is an invasive pulmonary angiogram. Somebody has injected contrast into the right ventricle, and that contrast has been pumped out from the right ventricle down the pulmonary artery. And you can see the branching nature of the pulmonary arteries as they're delineated by this contrast, and how the arteries divide and get thinner and smaller as they move out into the distal part of the lung. At the alveoli, the pulmonary arterioles form the pulmonary, pulmonary capillaries, which we've already described form a plexus around the outside of the alveoli, covering about 70% of the alveolar surface. And this is a diagram just showing that in a, a diagrammatic form. Those pulmonary capillaries then drain into pulmonary uh, venules, which then drain into pulmonary veins. And essentially, the venous, pulmonary venous circulation does the reverse of the pulmonary artery circulation, becoming the branches forming together, forming bigger and bigger blood vessels, in exactly the same pattern as the pulmonary arteries, but in reverse, eventually ending up, though, in two veins, leaving each lung, the right and left inferior and superior pulmonary veins. And these drain directly into the, into the left atrium. So two veins coming from the right, two veins coming from the left. The clinical relevance of the drainage into the left atrium has become more recently because there's increasing number of patients with atrial dysrhythmias who are undergoing atrial procedures uh, where they cause ablation and tr to try and prevent the atrial dysrhythmia. And those ablations are often around the origins of where the veins are coming into the left atrium, and that can cause mechanical problems with drainage of the blood back into the left atrium from the lungs. The bronchial artery is completely different. It's an important source of blood for the lungs, and it's important clinically because it's often the source of blood for major hemoptysis. Being under higher pressure, it's much more likely to, to cause a significant hemoptysis than the low pressure pulmonary artery circulation. They supply the pulmonary artery, so the bronchial arteries supply blood down to the terminal bronchioles, and also supply blood to the visceral pleura, the intrapulmonary blood vessel, the walls of those vessels, and the lymphatics. They arise from the systemic circulation, and this, uh, where they come from does vary quite a lot between people, even in normal circumstances. So the left bronchial artery, generally speaking, comes from the aorta, but may not. The right bronchial artery arises in the third or fourth intercostal artery, but there are often very uh, abnormal arrangements where the bronchial artery arises directly from subclavian arteries, example, for example. The pulmonary so the bronchial veins drain back into the systemic circulation, venous circulation, into the zygous and the hemizygous veins. Occasion, and there is actually a small amount of blood that goes back in through the pulmonary capillaries to, to the left atrium as well. And that's a, essentially an anatomical physiological shunt where deoxygenated blood reaches into the pulmonary venous circulation and reaches the left ventricle, uh, the left ventricle, but is actually physiologically not particularly relevant in most circumstances. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to USMLE standards. 
and the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.